Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will design this logo. This logo is a combination of two alphabets, E and K. Now let's start with today's tutorial. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file. Select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of the page to 1280 and height to 720 pixels and simply left click on this cross icon. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, left click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu and second one is align and distribute menu. Left click on this icon to get align and distribute menu and you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Then simply left click on this zoom to fit page in windows. Then select the pen tool and from here select create regular bezier path, select the shape to none and then left click once, hold down the control key and again left click and press enter on the keyboard. Then go to fill and stroke menu, then go to stroke style. Select the units to pixels and set the width to say 3 pixels and press enter. Now select the selection tool and drag it in the center like this. Here we have the option for the width and the height. Set the width of the line to 700 pixels and press enter like this. Now select the pen tool, left click once, hold down the control key and again left click and press enter on the keyboard. Again set the width to say 3 pixels and press enter. Select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and height. Set the height of the line to 100 pixels and press enter. Now we want to place this corner of vertical line at this corner of horizontal line. So we have to turn on the snapping option of rectangular corners. So first of all enable the snapping options by left clicking on this icon. Then left click on this icon which says snap nodes, paths and handles. Then from here left click on snap to rectangle corners. Now hold down the left mouse button at this line and drag it towards this corner and you can see it is perfectly placed at the corner. Now again select this line with the left click of mouse then right click and select duplicate and drag this line at this corner. Now select this vertical line with the left click of mouse then right click and select duplicate and drag it here then again go to height and set the height to 75 pixels and press enter. Then again hold down the left mouse button on this line and drag it towards this corner. Again select this line, right click, duplicate it and drag it downward. Now drag this vertical line at this point. Again select this line, right click, duplicate it and drag it here. Now again select this line of 75 pixels and drag it towards this corner. Again select this horizontal line, right click, duplicate it and drag it here. Then again select this line of 100 pixels and drag it here. Then again select this horizontal line, right click, duplicate it and drag it here. Now hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse towards these vertical lines and press delete on the keyboard. Now hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag the mouse over the lines having gap of 75 pixels like this. Then right click, duplicate it go to path and select combine. Now we have to rotate these lines at 55 degrees. So go to object and select transform. In the transform menu go to rotate and select the angle to 55 degrees and select rotate in counterclockwise direction and select apply. Now we have to place this corner of inclined line at any of the path of this horizontal line. So we have to turn on this snapping option which says snap to paths. Then hold down the left mouse button on these lines and drag them here. Now again right click and duplicate it. This time change its color to some different color. So hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this red color. Then select edit paths by nodes tool. Now we want to place this node at this intersection point. For this purpose, two snapping options must be enabled. The first one is snap to corners which is already enabled and second one is snap to intersection points. Simply enable it with the left click of mouse like this. 
then hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this intersection point like this. Also for these two nodes, hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this intersection point. Also for this one, like this. Now simply select the selection tool and select these bottom black lines with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard. Now hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag the mouse over these lines having gap of 100 pixels like this. Right click, duplicate it, go to path and select combine. Again we want to rotate these lines at 55 degrees. So again go to transform menu, select the angle to 55 degrees and select the direction to counterclockwise and select apply. Now we want to place this corner at this intersection point. Now simply hold down the left mouse button and drag these lines towards this intersection point like this. Again right click on these lines and select duplicate. Again change the color of these lines to some different color like this blue color. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this blue color like this. Then again select edit paths by nodes tool. Hold down the left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this intersection point and also for both of these nodes drag this node at this intersection point and also this node at this intersection point. Again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and select these bottom black lines with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard. Now select these blue lines, right click, duplicate it and flip them vertically by simply left clicking on this icon which says flip selected objects vertically like this. Then select these red lines with the left click of mouse, right click, duplicate it and also flip them vertically by left clicking on this icon like this. Now select all of these shapes by dragging the mouse over them then go to path and select combine. Then select the rectangle tool and hold down the left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse in such a way that it covers the whole body like this. Then select the selection tool and you have to make sure that this rectangle must be placed at the bottom of our main body. So for this purpose simply left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom like this. And now you can see that the rectangle is placed at the bottom of this main body. Now select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. To increase the visual impact, simply select all of these objects, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this white color like this. Now you can see that we can easily differentiate between the parts. So select this part with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard. And also you can delete the unwanted parts by holding down the delete key on your keyboard and left clicking on the unwanted parts like this. Now delete all the unwanted parts with the left click of mouse like this. Now this is our final logo. Simply select all of these shapes, go to path and select union. Now to cancel the stroke, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon. This is our final logo design. I wanna know about your opinion, so share your thoughts in the comments section. And if you think that this video helps you in some way, then please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.